Hey, how are you doing? I want to welcome you so much to my channel and all that I'm doing with the Yogi Club. I want to invite you to, first of all, do the most important thing and subscribe to this video. <laughs> Click the bell button so you can receive notifications when I release more awesome yoga practices that are going to help to strengthen your body, create more stability so that you can go back out into the world and feel more confident in your own skin but who you are and what you can accomplish in this world. So join in. Let's go and practice now. Namaste everybody. Welcome to my home, beautiful Blue Osa, located on the Osa Peninsula in Costa Rica. I just want to share with you a little bit of an energizing yoga flow that you can practice anywhere, anytime. Whenever I come to a beach, I always like to do sort of an energizing practice to get things moving and to really embody the prana and the energy of where we are in the environment. So having said that, just come and find a comfortable stance wherever you are and have your feet hip distance apart. We're just going to start with a, just a gentle standing back bending sequence. So you're going to inhale, bring the hands, reach up to the sky, lift up the heart and exhale. We're going to do this a few times, but we're doing this practice also just to develop a sense of the breath. So inhale, bring the hands, reach up. As you inhale and reach the hands up, feel as if you're filling your torso with prana, with life force energy. Exhale, the hands down. Inhale, bring the hands, reach up. Now, as you bring the hands and reach up, take the biceps back. And as you come, take the biceps back, you'll feel a delicious back bend here. And exhale, bring the hands down. And just do that a few more times. Just keep breathing and taking the back bend. Inhale up. Engage the core as you come back. Exhale. Inhale. Lift up the chest and heart. Lift up the pubic bone. Start to go back a bit. And exhale. And inhale. Lift up the pubic bone. Lift the chest and heart. Start to go back. And exhale. We'll just do it one more time. Make this your best one. Work within your capacity. So inhale, bring the hands and reach up. And exhale, come to Namaste Mudra. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just make a silent OM sound in your mind. Om. Good. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, take the feet back. Good. From here, Inhale, come to a plank pose. Engage the core. Lift up between the shoulder blades. Squeeze the navel to the spine. And exhale, come back into downward dog. Inhale, come to plank pose. Lift the chest up towards the back of your spine between the shoulder blades, but let the hips dip a little bit. Squeeze the sides of the belly in. Exhale, come to downward dog. Inhale, come to plank. This time, engage your right glute. Lift the leg up. Don't lift the hip up. Just lift the leg up. Feel the glute engage. Squeeze the belly in. Exhale the foot down, downward facing dog. Inhale, come to plank. This time, engage the left glute. Lift the left leg up. Bring the heart forward. Push up between the shoulder blades. Exhale, come back into downward dog. Inhale, come to plank, squeeze the sides of the belly, lift the right leg up. And lower the foot, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, come to plank, squeeze the sides of the belly, push back through the heels, lift the left leg up. Remember to turn the corners of your mouth upwards, you guys. 
remember this is fun, invigorating, strengthening. Exhale the foot down, downward dog. Very good. We're going to do one more sort of warm up before we continue. Bring the knees down. Lift the chest and heart a little bit, but take the sides of the belly in. Lift the left leg up, one, two, lower the hip, three, lift the leg up higher, four, lift the arm, and five, lift the arm and leg. Now radiate the chest up and forward. Beautiful, push back through the heel of the foot. You can even do a little bit of a twist here. Exhale, come on down. One, lift the right leg. Two, lower the hip. Straighten the back leg as much as you can. Lift the leg up without lifting the hip. Three, four, lift the arm. Five, lift the arm and leg up. And then again, you can twist to your left if you want. Two, three, four, five, and six. Come on down. One, lift the left leg. Two, lower the hip. Three, lift the leg up higher. Four, lift the arm. Five, lift the arm and leg. And then six, if you want, start to come into the twist. Two, three, four, five, six. Come on down. One, lift the right leg. Two, lower the hip. Three, lift the leg up higher. Four, lift the left arm. Five, lift arm and leg. And six, twist. Two, three, four, five, six. And come on down. One, lift the left leg. Two, lower the hip. Three, lift the leg up higher. Four, lift the arm. Five, lift arm and leg. And six, twist. Good. You should start to feel your back muscles really engage. So nice. And then come on down. One, lift the right leg. Two, lower the hip. Three, lift the leg up higher. Four, lift the left arm. And five, lift higher. And six, twist. Two, three, four, five, and six. Very nice. Inhale, exhale, come into downward dog. Very good. Breathe in deeply and exhale. Good. Inhale, slowly start to walk the feet up to the hands. Lift the chest and heart and exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up. Swan dive, reverse swan dive up. Go take that back bend because it feels so damn good. You might even be able to notice that you have more stability now that we did quadruped to activate the multifidus. Lift up the heart. Go back a little more. And exhale. Namaste mudra. I will admit that was probably more for me than it was for you. <laughs> just felt so good. If it, goes, if it feels good, just do it. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Very nice. Inhale. Bring the arms. Reach up. This time I want you to exhale. Feel like you're holding on to a ball. Take the ball over to the right. And inhale back up. Lift up, exhale over to the right. Nice, inhale, back up. Grab that ball, lift it up, shoulder blades back. Lift the pubic bone, exhale over to the right. Inhale, back up. And exhale, namaste mudra. Take a breath and just feel that invigorating life force energy pumping through you. Take in all the sounds of nature, the ocean sounds, the birds, the greenery. Really embody, be the embodiment of nature within you. Inhale, bring the arms up. Hold on to that imaginary ball. Lift up, lift up, exhale this time over to the left. Keep the hands that ball width distance apart. Good, inhale back up. Lift up a little higher and exhale slowly over to the left. You're not really stretching the right side as much as you are engaging the muscles on the left side. That's what's supporting you right now. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, come over to the left. Inhale, back up. And exhale, Namaste Mudra. So good to be alive. So good to feel the pulse of creation, the pulse of vitality, 
energy and life force within you. It is your birthright to breathe in all those qualities and become the living embodiment of all of it. Inhale, bring the arms reach up. Lift up through the heart and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest and heart and take the right foot back and exhale. Take the left foot back and downward dog. Inhale, come to plank. Exhale, knees and chest and chin. Inhale, come into cobra. Keep the elbows bent here, don't straighten the arms. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. And exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come on up. You can take the optional back bend if you want to. And exhale, namaste mudra. We're gonna do that sequence two more times. Inhale, bring the arms reach up. Exhale, navel the spine as you come forward. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, step your right foot back. Bring the heart forward. And this time, bring the arms reach up. And exhale, bring the hands down. Step your left foot back, downward dog. Inhale, bring the up into upward push up. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, slide forward into cobra. And exhale, downward dog. Step the right foot up to the hands. Bring the hands up to the sky. And exhale, bring the hands down, left foot up, fold forward. Navel the spine, bring the arms reach up. Lift up as high as you can, press down into the heels of the feet. Go back if it feels good, and exhale. Namaste mudra. Take a breath. Again, breathing in all the prana that you can feel and see and taste and hear. Draw it into your heart center. Let's do it one more time. Best breath yet. Inhale, take a deep breath in, raise the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, right foot back, knee to the ground, Anjaneyasana. Arms up. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, upper plank. Navel to spine, exhale, knees, chest, chin, navel to spine. Inhale, slide the nose, chest, chin along the ground. Come into Cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward dog. Sip the right foot up to the hands. And bring the arms reach up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, bring the hands down. Left foot up, fold forward. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Bring the arms reach up. And exhale, namaste mudra. We're gonna do Dande Kriya now. We'll do it a few times. It's just such a great energizing flow. Inhale, bring the arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, step back into downward dog. Pause in downward dog for a breath or two. Feel yourself expanding the length of the spine. The inner thighs are pressing back. The buttocks is lifting, hollow the armpits. Now come forward into a plank pose and then transition to the tops of your feet, lifting the legs off the ground. Lift up into upward facing dog. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, slowly into downward dog. Keep that sense of engagement alive. Inhale, slowly into plank. Now take the sides of the belly in. Squeeze inward. And exhale, come into upward dog. Lift up the top of the head towards the sky. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, into upward dog. Turn the corners of your mouth upwards as you do that. Exhale, downward dog. Do that a few more times. Inhale. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. 
Inhale. Ano Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale. Ano Mukha Svanasana. Beautiful. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale. Ano Mukha Svanasana. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale. Ano Mukha Svanasana. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. One more time. Inhale, Urdhva. Exhale, Adho. Beautiful. Lift your right leg up. Open up the hip. Bend the knee. Push the heel up towards the sky. And slowly transition to wild thing. Ah, so nice. Ah, breathe in all, open your heart to receiving all the vitality. Hey, Marley, exhale. <laughs> You're gonna come do down dog with me. And then bring the left leg up. Bend the knee, push up, 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 up. And let the foot come down. And then reach the left hand up. <sighs> open your heart to grace to the grace of all the prana and energy. And then come on out with the same intention. Lift the leg up, come down, and breathe a couple of breaths. Ah. Mm. Inhale deeply, and exhale. Step your right foot up to your hands. Breathe in, warrior one. Mm. Let's get a little alignment here. Bring the hands to the hips. Square the hips to the front foot. If you need to, widen the feet to take a better gait so that you can get those hips aligned. Lift up at the pubic bone. Lift everything up. Take the floating ribs into the body. Come forward just a little bit and then bring the arms up. Remember to turn the corners of your mouth upwards. Inhale deeply. And exhale, bring the hands behind you. Interlace the fingers. Very good. Now, if this is not accessible to you, please feel free to bring the hands to the elbows. And then inhale, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, you have two options here. Come forward, just hang out here. But don't lean forward as much as I want you to. Just come forward with the torso, squeeze the sides of the belly in, or come into the forward flexion. Sometimes people call this humble warrior. Take another breath or two. Inhale deeply. And then exhale. Take the hands down. Downward dog. And this is optional. From down dog, come into upward dog. Mm, mm, mm. Exhale, downward dog. Take the left foot up. Inhale. Bring the arms reach up. Let's get into a little alignment here. So square the hips to the front foot. Again, if you need to, widen your gait. Bring the right foot a little bit more to the right or the left foot to the left. Get those hips square. It helps to maintain some structure and integrity in the sacrum and lumbar spine. Square the hips. Come forward just a little with the torso and then bring the arms reach up. Squeeze the sides of the belly in. Lift the pubic bone. Hmm. And then again, you can bring the hands behind you or you can bring the hands to the elbows, okay? So lift up, come forward. Now that's option one, you can stay here. Option two, come forward. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Inhale deeply and exhale. Press down into both heels. Press down into the outer edge of the right foot. And then navel the spine. Take the left foot back. Downward dog. And then come into upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Very nice. Take the right foot forward. Breathe in, warrior one. 
Exhale, warrior two. <coughs> From here, inhale, take the, cross the arms. And exhale, take your right elbow, sorry, your right shoulder to your right hip bone. Keep spiraling the heart upwards. Inhale, back up. And exhale, back over. And inhale, back up. And exhale, back over. Press down into the outer edge of the right foot. And inhale, back up. And exhale, back over. This time, keep your right arm where it is, but bring your left arm up and over the head. Now, if that's too much, come on out of the pose a bit and keep coming up until you can support yourself. Squeeze the sides of the belly in. Okay, inhale, deep play. And exhale, deep play. Inhale, deep play. And exhale, deep play. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Take the lower hand and just reach it here. And spiral the heart up and turn the corners of your mouth upwards. Mm, mm, mm. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Windmill the hands down. And take your right foot back, downward dog. Inhale, come into upward dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. And exhale, downward dog. Take the left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Widen your stance a little bit if it feels good. Cross your arms. And again, you're gonna work on bringing the left shoulder to the left hip bone. Inhale deeply. Exhale, left shoulder to left hip bone. Inhale back up. And exhale over. Inhale back up. Exhale back over. Inhale back up. And exhale back over. Mm. Do it one more time. Inhale back up. And exhale back over. Very good. Take the right arm this time up and over your head. Again, if this is too much, just come on up a little bit. Okay, you should be able to support yourself here. If you can't, it's because the muscles need to be strengthened. They're not contracting properly. All of the lateral oblique muscles, your transverse abdominis. So take the navel into the spine, take the sides of the belly towards the midline. Inhale, back up. Exhale, take reverse warrior. And then take the right hand and reach. Ah, oh, beautiful. Inhale deeply. Bend the front knee. Lift the heart. Reach a little bit more. And then exhale, windmill the hands down. Downward dog. Ah, oh, wonderful. Inhale deeply. We're gonna finish off with just one more pose. So take the left foot up to the hands, come on up. Just to kind of get centered and quiet. Once you to bring the hands to the hips, you can even lower them a little bit. Feel like you're squeezing the hips into the midline and that your feet are moving towards each other. And then inhale, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, come forward just halfway. Now lift the inner thighs, lift the inner legs, lift the inner arches. Squeeze the feet together about 10%. Inhale, come back up. This time I want you to come forward and think about lifting up the pubic bone. Exhale, come forward. Nice. Inhale, come back up. We'll do that four more times. Exhale, come back forward. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, come back forward. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, come back forward. And inhale, come back up. We'll do it one more time. And exhale, come back forward. 
This time I want you to just let the hands come down. If, they're too, if the floor is too far away from you, just bend your knees a little bit, that's fine. And, but I want you to keep the arms straight. The hands are sort of underneath the shoulders. If you want to experiment, you can walk the hands forward even a little bit more. Okay, I wouldn't bring them back too much. But just keep them underneath the shoulder blades. This is an extension pose of the spine. So lift the chest and heart. Think about upward dog. Take the sides of the belly in. Press down into the outer edges of the feet. I'm going to stay here for a few more breaths. It's such a great forward bend to practice. Forward bends bring us back into our body. They help us to ground into the earth, especially after doing kind of an energizing flow. Inhaling deeply. There's nothing to do as you hold postures except to breathe, to start to get still. Cultivate the qualities of stiram and sukham. There's a sense of steadiness, but also a sense of ease, which is demonstrated through the quality of your breath. Keep pressing down into the outer edges of the feet. As you breathe, know that you've done so much in this moment to cultivate a sense of strength and stability and indomitable will to do and to be in this world so that you may go out and manifest and live your life purpose. Everything you do right now, I promise that your 80 or 90 year old self is thanking you. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, bring the hands to the waist. Inhale, come on back up. And exhale, bring the feet together. Come to Namaste Mudra. Stand tall. And stand not with a sense of pride, but a sense of inner confidence. And from the confidence and inner knowingness that you are more stronger, that you have more stability. And a feeling of connection to the ever-flowing vitality in this universe that's yearning to create and to expand and to know itself at every level. Namaste, my friends. Have a super wonderful day.